Sorry, Mr. Peter. We relied on you for everything. Anytime I needed any help, I had to call Sergeant Escobedo. He has been with DRT for over 16 years. And we thank him so much for all that he's provided, everything that he's helped us to do, and the city of Houston, as well as all of your officers here that's in the DRT squad. Hello. This is a small token of our appreciation, and we thank you so very much for all you have done, and we're going to miss you, sir. everybody my name is Dan Harris I'm the used to be called captain now we changed our title to commander of the North Division so first a few things before I, I read this for you friend. Uh, thank you to all of you for being here this is a very important moment in Frank's life and Frank's family life uh, one of the lieutenants teaches a class and one of the things he says is that when you retire you're not retiring from the Houston Police Department. You're retiring to something. Now Frank spent 41 years here. He spent 18 years as the differential response team sergeant. And if, really quick, if you don't know what that is, the DRT, we have patrol officers out there answering calls for service. I have another smaller group here. They concentrate on serial robbery suspects. They, they go after the guys doing really bad things. I cannot tell you what percentage, it's large, the, the percentage of work that comes to the station that needs officers to go to a location and dwell at it for a while. Having them in the call for service loop doesn't do justice. When citizens call about a persistent problem, we need somebody within the station that can go there, that understands the city ordinances, that understands crime prevention through environmental design, uh, these sort of things. It takes special skills. And Sergeant Escobedo has been in charge of that group for, for the past 18 years. And I am very much the beneficiary of your work. You're very organized. You've got a, a memory like an elephant. You can come to him and ask him, hey, this is what's going on. Oh, yeah, well, here's the background on that. Um, and you've trained your officers very well. They're very good at what they do, and that's because of you. Would you mind taking a moment, because, like I said, the lieutenant that taught this class, he said, you're not retiring from... Houston Police Department, you're retiring too. Frank and I talked uh, about a week ago, and he told me he is really looking forward to spending time with his family and, and his grandkids especially. So your family's here. Would you mind introducing them real quick, and then I'll sure. read this. Well, um, I'd, I'd like for my wife to come up, because I've got some <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is my high school sweetheart. We <laughs> graduated high school in 1973 and got married and raised my three kids and three grandkids um, that are here with me today. Except my granddaughter, she had an important test at school and um, we didn't want her to miss that, of course. But the other day, one of my officers was asking me, what was the secret of my success? Well, she's standing right here. Um, without her support and without her being there, um, to send me off to work every day and, and making sure that I had everything that I needed. Um, I, I couldn't have had or enjoyed the success that I've had over the years. Um, one day someone asked, who has the most important job at HPD? And some of the answers were, um, well, the chief does. No. The captain? No. Uh, the lieutenants? No. The sergeants? No. The officers? No. Um, 
the spouses yeah. <clears throat> have the most important job here at HPD because they're the ones that support us every day, send us off to work, and of course, uh, knowing that um, we have them there as our back, um, we can be assured that we can go out and do a good job every day, every single day. Um, my oldest son, Frank. Frank, hold your hand up. My daughter, Nancy, and my youngest son, Eric. My son-in-law, Shane. My grandson, Frank, also. <laughs> Frank the Fourth, and uh, my grandson, Brandon. Uh, they're all here today, and, and I am so thankful to them as well because um, for the past 40 years dad wasn't really at home because he was here but they understood and they supported me just as well and that was so important to me